<clears throat> Long moves that House Bill number 3872 be taken from the table. Representative Long. Madam Speaker, that is my motion to allow us to take up the Judiciary Policy Bill. Any discussion on the, oh. Right, no Sorry, it's a non-debatable motion. On the long motion to remove House File 4872 from the table, all those in favor, please say aye. aye. Those opposed, please say no. The motion prevails. The clerk will report the bill. <clears throat> House File Number 3872, an act relating to the judiciary, the first engrossment. The member from Ramsey, Representative Becker Finn, to the bill. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, in my world, we call this a hat trick. Um, <laughs> this is the Judiciary Policy Bill. Um, we just talked about finance. Uh, now we're going to talk about policy. Uh, so this, um, hopefully, hopefully, members, uh, we can get a bipartisan vote on this as well. Um, we'll quickly go through the provisions in this bill. First, we have the uh, Judicial and Court Staff uh, Safety and Privacy Act, a representative current bill. Uh, so what this will do will help protect the private information of our judges and judicial officials as well as their clerks and other staff. Uh, we also have uh, some language updating uh, gendered language in our statutes around anti-nuptial contracts. Uh, this also includes the provisions within the judicial branch finance and policy uh, bill, so the policy provisions requested by uh, the courts. That includes allowing out-of-state court uh, examiners uh, if they're part of an interstate compact. So again, trying to address that forensic examiner issue, um, as well as prohibiting employers from requiring employees um, who work, uh, night, requiring employees who are doing jury duty to essentially work uh, night shifts or swing shifts um, if they are doing jury duty. Uh, we also have a Representative Finke bill on a uh, Board of Public Defense updating a couple of policies uh, in that space, as well as um, instructing the reviser to update uh, gender neutral terms in other areas of statute as well. Uh, finally, there is a Representative Stevenson provision relating to uh, contributory fault and joint liability, but um, if Chair Stevenson and Representative Niska want to argue about that, I will leave it to those two. Uh, that is the bill. Uh, pretty small but important uh, policy provisions for us to get across the finish line this year. Uh, hope for your support. There's an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. <clears throat> Scott moves to amend House Bill number 3872, the first engrossment. The amendment is coded A6. The member from Anoka, Representative Scott. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. It, it's just been a while since we've looked at this. A lot has happened in the last week. <laughs> Refreshing my mind here. Uh, members, what my amendment does, um, and I, I will be the first to say we need to protect our judges. They play such an important role and of course, they make some decisions that don't make a lot of people very happy. And so, by all means, we need to protect our judges. But this bill is, the underlying bill is so expansive. Um, it's going to sweep in over 2,000 employees. And it's, if you think about our county recorders having to find a way to take each employee's request to make their property information um, not available, not public. Um, it's just, I, I just feel like it's just way too broad sweeping. And uh, members, so what my bill would do is protect just the judges. Um, they're the ones that are in the most limelight. A lot of times people don't even know the last name or the first name of, of someone that works within the courts. So. Uh, members, I would ask for your support. I think this is a really practical um, solution to this, and I would encourage members' green vote. Thank you. Discussion on the A6 amendment. Uh, the member from Ramsey, Representative Curran. Thank you, Speaker, and thank you, Representative Scott, for your amendment. I appreciate all the conversation that we've had around this bill. I think there's been zero uh, debate on whether or not this is a helpful direction to go in. I think we've, we've all come to an agreement that judges uh, should have this protection. Um, I will say that there was a bit of discrepancy in um, some of the 
uh, proposed amendments or thoughts um, between the Judiciary Committee and the Public Safety Committee, where in one committee um, we heard uh, a suggestion like your amendment offers that we sort of scale this back and, and limit uh, the folks, the pool of folks that this might apply to. Um, but on the other hand, in public safety, we had a different conversation. And that conversation was that maybe this bill doesn't go far enough and that maybe at some point it should cover uh, other offices of public service, including legislators, including uh, police officers, um, which would you know, create, of course, a much larger pool um, than we currently have with our judicial staff. Um, and so, you know, these are a couple of reasons why I'm, I'm going to request a no vote on this amendment is because I feel like the place that we've landed here um, with, with the, this article and the underlying bill, um, I feel like we've landed in a really good spot um, knowing that this is a starting point. Um, this is a, a new idea. This is something that we're just implementing now. Uh, we'll see how this works for the folks that we've uh, guaranteed these protections to. Um, and, you know, if it looks like we need to make some changes, that's what we're all here for, is to continue to make our laws better. Um, I just want to note as well that um, this, this portion, it doesn't, um, it doesn't, it's not an automatic uh, process. So what this bill actually does, what the article in the underlying bill actually does is gives the option to all of the folks listed that they can submit a form to then protect their information. Um, so you're absolutely right. It's, it's quite a large pool of people, um, you know, like you mentioned, over 2,000. Um, but we could be maybe in the future looking at even more if this seems to work really well. Um, and so uh, for those reasons, I would ask members um, at this time to vote against the amendment. Thank you. Further discussion? Representative Scott. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, and Representative Curran, thank you for carrying the bill in the first place. It's, it is really important to protect our judiciary. Um, I, I, I stand by what I've also said in committee in that there's no reason that these judges can't be in the Safe at Home program. And I know there's a delay in getting their mail. I get that whole thing. But it's the most natural place for them to go. It's already a smooth ride. They've already got that program figured out. Um, this is going to complicate things for our county recorders. To my knowledge, and, and maybe correct me if I'm wrong, Representative Curran, but I'm not sure that they were included in the conversations. And um, it, when you think of all the ramifications, and it's not just courts and employees, it's their families as well. So that is going to multiply it even more. Um, folks, it's just, it's, it's not well vetted yet enough. Um, to become law. And so maybe we should have started with some sort of a pilot program, um, which would have included just justices and judges. Um, but members, I still encourage a red vote. Thank you, Madam Speaker. On the Scott Amendment, all those, all those in favor of the Scott Amendment, please say aye. aye. Those opposed, please say nay. The motion does not prevail. The amendment is not adopted. There are no further amendments at the desk. The clerk will give the bill its third reading. <coughs> third reading, House Law number 3872. Third reading. Any discussion to the bill? Representative Becker Finn. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. It's a good bill. Uh, please vote green. The clerk will take the roll on the bill. Will the clerk please call the name of the member who's voting remotely? Carol. Carol, aye. Carol, aye. The clerk will close the roll.
There being 71 ayes and 56 nays, the bill is passed and its title agreed to.